Welcome back everybody, this is Full Spectrum Engineering and today I'm going to show you how to export a file to Mach 3 so that it can be cut or engraved on the laser cutter. So this is Adobe Illustrator. You can use any other vector program like AutoCAD or probably CorelDRAW also. What you want to do is you want to make your drawing and you want this to be in the proper units. So you want to set up to be inches and one to one to what you want to cut. So the thing you want to know and remember is that here we have a path and this path is located on the cut layer. So you create layers with Adobe Illustrator with this button and you drag it you know, to each layer. So here I drag the path to the cut layer and I put the text on the engrave layer. So once you've done that you want to just export it. So you export it to a DXF file. Um, you might want to play with this, so you can also export it to EMF or you can export it to a Windows WMF file. I found that sometimes Mach 3 makes uh, some problems with DXF files and it prefers the EMF or the WMF, but you can play with this and, you know, those are your options if uh, it doesn't work out. So here I've already created a file, so I'm going to select the file name again and save it. And it gives you the options. Make sure you export the text as curves. So this is done by clicking this outline text button. Uh, if you don't do this, then Mach 3 won't engrave text properly. So with Adobe Illustrator and clicking this one button, then everything works out well. Also double check that you have one inch for one unit, otherwise your drawing is going to be the wrong scale. So select OK and ex export it. So now we fire up a lazy cam and we open that file we just created, so open vector file and we find it down here. Again, we can also have chosen to uh, export, or import that is, the WMF file or the EMF file. But right now we have a DXF file, so we'll open that. So make sure you select MIL, and uh, Mach 3 will load everything. So there you go. So the first thing you want to do is tools, then you want to hit optimize drawing. So this will correct the cutting sequence. So what you want to look at over here are our two layers. So these layers we created in Illustrator. Here's the cut layer and here's the engrave layer. So the engrave layer does, works first, then we do the cut. So for the engrave layer, you want to double check that everything makes sense. So this cuts the E, then the N, then the G, then the I, then the N, then the, e, the I dot. So you actually want to move this. So now you have the G, the I, the I dot. So just uh, make sure you do all this for all the options. So this is a uh, okay now. So we have an engraved layer and we have a cut layer. So with the options, we can set the cutting speed and the cutting power with the uh, special Mach 3 lazy cam post that Full Spectrum Engineering has created. So the way to do that is select the engrave layer and we see this rapid height. So we've actually adjusted this so that it works better with the laser. So what this does, if we type in 1000, this will set the laser power to 100%. It does this by issuing a spindle command, an S1000, before every uh, time it turns the laser on. If we set it to S100, then we get 10% power. If we do 10, then we get 1% power. So we're going to set it to 100% power, and uh, then we're going to look at this cut depth. So this cut depth actually translates directly to the feed rate. So rather than actual cut depth, we set the speed in inches per minute. 
So if we do a fast engrave with 100% power, say we do it at 20 inches per minute, then it'll engrave very lightly. If we do something like 5 inches per minute, then it's going to cut right through the work. So we hit set layer. So make sure you remember to do this, otherwise it's not going to work. So hit set layer. Now we adjust the cut thing, cut layer. So we do the same thing. We set this one to 5, so it gives it 5 inches per minute cutting speed at 100% power. So we adjust this to 1,000 to get 100% power. Uh, I made a mistake here in the engrave. We put this at 5, so I'm going to increase this to 25. So again, we have 100% power at speed 25 inches per minute. So the laser is going to move very fast, therefore not putting much time on the work and we're going to have uh, a very light engrave. For the cut layer, we have five inches per minute, and this is going to be a very deep engrave, and you'll probably cut through the piece of work all the way through, so that's what we want. So once we did that, then we hit output, post G-code, and um, here we have to select the post processor. So, we provide two post processors. One is the fast processor, and one's the PWM. So we can select, uh, this time we're going to select the fast one, but you can also set post processor, and you can choose the laser PWM mode. So we're going to cancel this for now. And the difference is, again, uh, if you saw our earlier video, we set Mach 3 to use one of two configuration files. We can use the fast configuration file, or we can use the PWM. So with the PWM, then the actual spindle speed is uh, taken into account, and that creates laser power. So I'm going to output this as fast mode for now, but let me show you. So this saves it as a .tap file, which you can load into Mach 3. But um, Again, if we go to the layers, this rapid height sets the power. So with the fast mode post, it ignores that option. So it doesn't really matter what I set that, but it still takes into account this cut depth, which relates to how fast the laser is going to cut it. So the PWM mode makes use of this, but it's much slower than the fast mode, which ignores it. So again, we set the engrave for 25, and we set the cut for 5, therefore giving us a very fast speed. That's it for now, and um, you know, with that .tap file, you can now run Mach 3 and do your engraves. Also, all these files are going to be available on the website at fullspectrumengineering.com, and um, you can download both the Adobe Illustrator file, the DXF file, and the generated .tap file so that you can make sure your laser is working and make sure you follow all the steps and make sure all the files are exactly how they should be. Thanks a lot, everybody.